So the Flash is a walking relativity paradox. From his point of view, he is moving basically normal speed. But if we were to take his speed in normal laws of physics, then he should be doing stuff like elongating himself and gaining infinite mass and stuff like that. Which he only kind of does when it's appropriate to the story. And this is explained that the speed force can basically locally change the laws of physics. It controls how kinetic energy and time work. Which means it's not necessarily that he has a lot of energy, but rather that he can control how energy operates. I mean, he does have a very high metabolism, so in that sense he runs hot. But I don't necessarily think that that makes his molecules hot. There is no official ruling by DC, but actually I think I have a solution here. The Flash very often vibrates his molecules to pass through something. But that means he's adding energy to his molecules to do so. He doesn't change from his solid state, though. He doesn't become a gas or a plasma or something like that. And there's no real reason why vibrating molecules should be able to allow them to phase through each other. So I think he's altering energy so that he can give off a lot of heat energy and still survive. That actually reduces his energy until he becomes a super solid state. Like I said in my other videos, super solid states can basically phase through even the tiniest cracks of matter. That's my reading, it's not DC's official reading, but that's what I say, the Flash is super cold.